What's up everyone, this is Wipeout. Today, LG loses a court ruling against Sony, Kaz Harai looks to be the new successor in leadership at Sony, Microsoft plugs a huge cash leak, and the Gran Turismo Nissan Racing Academy goes into its semifinals of the championship. Recently, LG took Sony to court regarding the Blu-ray technology found in the PS3. This resulted in a 10-day ban on sales of the PlayStation 3 in the Netherlands. Today, the court ruled in favor of Sony, and all PS3s are back on sale again. LG is responsible for all of the PlayStation 3s that could have been sold during that time, and all of Sony's legal fees as well. LG is expected to follow up with another $350 million lawsuit, however things are looking like they're in Sony's favor now with the court ruling. It's been a couple months since the release of Gran Turismo 5, and in that time, over 53,000 players have competed in the Nissan GT Driving Academy Challenge to become a real race car driver. Sony has narrowed it down to the top 32 players, and on March 22nd and 23rd, they'll go head-to-head -head in the semifinals event in Orlando, Florida at Walt Disney World. Out of those 32, 16 players will have the chance to prove themselves behind the wheel of real Nissan racing cars. A single winner out of those 16 will have the opportunity to be a real race car driver as part of Nissan's team in an actual endurance race. Kaz Hirai, who is currently in charge of Sony's networked products and services group, is going to be promoted to vice president of the division. He's going to lead up not just video games, but almost all Sony electronics that are to be found in a household, including televisions, stereo equipment, and computers. Harai could be positioned now as the next CEO of Sony behind Howard Stringer. Kaz had this to say in response. Ridge Racer! On Monday afternoon, a website went live with a code generator for Microsoft points. Microsoft initially claimed that they lost over $1.2 million, but now they're saying that those figures are incorrect. The website also offered a downloadable standalone program which was capable of downloading codes for Microsoft Points, Xbox Live Gold Time, and even DLC for Halo Reach. Microsoft was able to stop the exploit quickly, but they have yet to say whether they plan on identifying and punishing those offenders. Thank you everyone for watching today. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe.